Ladies and gentlemen, before we hop in the video, new vlog training, I want to show you a little bit of the outfits we've been working on. 3SB.co, we are live with all our apparel. Uh, we launched two days ago. Uh, thanks so much for everything, all the support, the comments uh, on the gear, and everybody that's repping. We have some sizes left. Um, large XL and a lot of things. A couple sizes missing some products, but uh, I just want to kind of show you how we're rocking. So, first, the Good Company Beanie. A couple colors available, all fully custom. Fits pretty snug. I don't know why, personally, I just don't like beanies that fluff out at the top. I like it to cover my ear a little bit to actually stay warm. Uh, the custom hem tag on the back, and I literally just hate when they get loose the more you wear them or the knitting is really loose. So these are kind of, I guess, like a sailor scully more than anything, so it'll fit flat on your head. Um, and again, a little bit tight. Our big cozy hoodie, two different colors. It's a little oversized, so this is an XL. I'm about 220 right now, 510. A little bit long, you wanna stay warm. Matched up with the joggers, I'm gonna back up, but the joggers are, are fitting, uh, I'd say pretty true to size. So I have XL, they're semi baggy, uh, but yet super warm, comfy on the inside. Just small details. The Third Street logo, you're welcome ladies. Embroidered bear, I don't even know if you can see it. Just small details on that one, the block hoodie comes in a, a, a sea foam and a black, kind of like a light green turquoise, uh, sweats gray and black. Custom clasps on the bottom that we're rocking and rolling with. In case you guys are like me, sometimes you want to wrinkle them up. One, it's just a little bit of style if you want. If not, you can tighten them up, wrinkle them up. Or if you're a little bit shorter in general, uh, and you don't want to step on the bottoms, uh, you can clasp those up. And it's, a, it's a, more of a sweatpant than like a jogger. So, again, a, a hair loose fitting, smaller uh, hems at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna show you our shorts, maybe our socks in the next look. So, like we said, beanie, don't mind the beautiful Jedi braid, you're welcome to that one. Um, every kind of shirt either has an inspiration from like something from nostalgic from the crew or for me or one of my hobbies um, or like foreshadowing. I've talked about it a lot when we're building the gym. Uh, something that I enjoy is like theme parks. I don't enjoy like thrill rides or rides but I like the art direction and the thought process that goes into the details of telling a story or even movies. Like the easiest one everyone really enjoyed recently is like all the Marvel movies and we all know after the credits some kind of foreshadowing cliffhanger would always happen. Foreshadowing happens. So I'm not going to tell all the stories, sometimes they'll unravel as our launches kind of work over the years. Um, but the basis for this poker tee, we have king and a queen uh, poker tee, is just kind of the general concept that on the internet there's so much slang, toxic lingo going around, but one of the cool trends I thought this year, uh, or maybe over the year and a half, is people calling each other kings and queens. I thought that's so cool because there's so much negativity and toxic bullshit all over Twitter, all over Instagram, um, that there's a hair of light of people kind of uh, showing love. And even if they mean it's sarcastic or the memes, even if it's fake positivity or trolling, uh, it he has a positive connotation, so I really like that. Uh, this tee is pretty general, standard, athletic fit. Again, I like my stuff really baggy, so this is a 2X. I'm about 5'10", 220 right now. This is just kind of how the look I rock. It's kind of like how I grew up playing basketball. And then the shorts ourselves, our custom 3SB. So uh, basic embroideries. We got a boy Goody the Bear rocking. Good company. Custom class. Don't worry. I'm not. Yeah, guys. You guys probably got a little iffy there when I just put my hands down my pants. Custom 3SB. Uh, top to bottom, they're about five inch inseam, which you guys know we had to bring the gray sweatpants, the groove fit, and the five inch inseam for all the ladies. Perfect for squatting. Dang, I can't even show you. Here, I'll try to show you, boys. They're like 10 to 15% spandex, so you can easily lift in them, but they're thick enough you can kind of rock them out and they look casual enough. You can squat, run, probably play soccer, basketball, whatever you're into athletically. Um, but again, they're kind of thick enough and swaggy enough you can kind of rock anywhere. Uh, there are other couple tees and items on the uh, website, again, 3SB.co, check it out. But uh, just want to show you guys the custom socks we made too. Goody the Bear rocking, that's the outside ankle. So we're trying to mix in what we love, what we like. That's the camo you used to grind for in video games. For anyone that doesn't play video games, you have to play a lot and excel in certain tasks to get a cool color version of the, the weapon you're using in the game. And Red Tiger camo used to be like 
you know, the Ferrari of camouflage and the Ferrari of skins that you got to use in the game. Um, so we just kind of represented that in what we do here. So I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the video. That was a little longer than I anticipated. Um, but thanks so much for the support. If you want to grab something, three, the number three, S, the letter B dot C O. Catch you in the next one. Good morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good morning. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The first morning, and I guess uh, this is our, maybe our three week anniversary of being open. The first morning, it's not freezing. I, I get out, normally get in my garage. I'm pretty lucky actually, it's the first time I've had a garage in my entire life. I've never had a garage. And in my garage is, is fairly warm, you know, always, right? Insulated, attached to my house. And then, I normally open the garage door. That's the respectable move to get your car out of the garage is you gotta open the garage door. Next logical step. And then, normally I become a fucking a freezing. It's like 30 degrees out here. And everyone's like, hey, you don't live in NorCal. And I think I already went on this ramp. And it's a pet peeve of mine. I don't know why. It shouldn't be a pet peeve. Shouldn't let it bug me. It bugs me. It's cold up here. So then, but today I do it, and then, and then I get in the car, I'm like, oh, I feel okay. And then I read my little car dash, what temperature is it? It says 50. So, huh, that's weird. Maybe the temperature gauge is busted. So then I go to my phone. And Siri would never lie to us. Siri's on our team. I like to call her Cortana. Cortana, what's the temperature? And it said 50 degrees. It's launch day. No, I don't know why I just told you that, but that, that is, that's the, those are the things that happen to my brain at uh, five o'clock in the morning. So it's 50, it's kind of nice. I don't even need this jacket. I mean, it feels good. I can feel kind of cozy. I have this little heater down here too. Dude, this is the Ghostbuster fog machine of the world, dude. This thing literally sprays sanitizer like a hospital and it's ion charged. And I don't necessarily know what that means because I dropped out of college. But basically the particles become like magnetic. And, and instead of just like spraying, you know, and go, it goes like, and so it'll clean everything. Um, I got the passcode, dude, I can't let you guys see it. Uh, so yeah, I got the heater normally, but I don't need it. It is launch day. So yesterday, um, if those that don't know, if you're part of our email list, part of the Twitch crew, you may or may not get some early access to some of the clothes. And then today is the launch to the public. So uh, although it's six o'clock, launch is at nine. Connie was in here banging out orders. Shout out Connie. Editing videos, crushing orders. Uh, those are a little pre-launch. And then um, I'm gonna go on a marketing scandal. Not scandal. A marketing uh, tornado, social media marketing tornado around nine o'clock uh, and start posting places um, and get this launch popping. So excited for that. You, new YouTube tonight. New YouTubes we're trying to do every Monday and Wednesday evening. Um, probably won't train today, uh, even though I feel really good right now. Normally I haven't been vlogging in the morning because the first couple weeks were really getting your boy. I'm just stressed. I'm, and I don't know, I don't think I slept any better last night, but I woke up like, oh, I'm a new man. So we're going to um, bang out some emails. I'm already working on next launch. That's how this game goes. Uh, handle that this morning. I think we're popping, y'all. I think we are popping. So I will um, begin to attack some of that and uh probably not train till tomorrow i didn't get a chance to train this weekend i was really dusted dude i was dusted so i had to give it a, a little breather F trying to find as everyone i think the balance of of when to push and when not and when you're starting a company or basically starting two companies and running two or three others um it gets a little bit harder for me to balance everything um but i'm really doing my best and so i decided to not train i just came in said what's up to people on Saturday, but didn't lift. 
Saturday is normally, I don't know if it's a, comment below actually, is Saturday like a powerlifting thing? Because growing up in strength and conditioning, Saturdays were like the powerlifting day. Like you went, everybody got together, it's a, probably a heavy day, maybe a squat day, and um, you'd have the biggest group, everybody shows. It started is, is you know, kind of a, a, a blue collar man sport. And so, I, you know, these people have jobs or, you know, like our boy Tom Callis works his boobies off, you know, the dude's a, a, a lineman. And so like risking his life every day and working long hours. So it makes sense to me that during the week you get obviously hard workouts and you work out as much as you can, but you get to sleep in maybe a day, an hour or two on Saturday, a big smash, and then, you know, whether you travel to a nicer gym, which seems to be less of a thing now too, because um, there's more gyms available for people. But back in the day, like even me, to drive to this location, when it was super training and midtown strength, uh, I drove half an hour or, or, or more, and then, and then things move further away. I was driving about 40 minutes to go to, to a, you know, quote unquote real gym. So um, Saturdays, the crew gets a little bigger, right? Because more people can travel. You got some time afterwards, so you go grab, you know, a burger together or something. I don't know where I was heading with that. Oh, so the crew is here Saturday. I just want to say what's up. That's basically what I was getting at. Um, but it seems like it's a thing. Comment below if that is a thing. So I'll train tomorrow. Basically, I think we're breaking it up back into exactly four day split. I just need to find my schedule, you know? So Tuesday, Tuesday will be squat bench dead. Thursday will be squat bench. Saturday, squat bench dead. Sunday, squat bench. And uh, flutter and things in between. And I gotta find out how or when I'm gonna do my cardio in between. I'm still in the market for a puppy. Who doesn't love a puppy vlog? So I've been looking for a puppy for about a year, trying to rescue, but because of COVID, rescuing a dog is a little more difficult getting, than getting Yeezys. I don't know what it is. I was talking to Ren, shout out to Ren, homegirl, uh, been with the Barber Brigade crew for a very long time. A very close friend of mine who's um, done many things for Barber Brigade. Um, she manages a gym, she's handled some back end work, she's handled some of the marketing and social media marketing. So her and I, because of the, I didn't go to school, you know? I'm just like a self learnt man, but people like her and I and, and a couple other friends who do kind of marketing, Omar obviously, Bart himself, but throw around ideas or toss um, thoughts back and forth on marketing. Um, and one thing, I just always try to not be what I hate. And there's a there's like a stoic quote, you know, the, the best way to beat your enemy is to be unlike them. Um, and often, often that has to do with, you know, anger or revenge or being a dick. But for me, like sometimes I just get so turned off by other people like, flaunting their sales or flaunting their business or any of that and Ren brought up a point to me because I think Ren's really cool she she started her own company also shout out to them super bloom um, but she has a good perspective I think she's she's definitely in the world that I'm in but I'm just so stuck on the business side now that I don't know what consumers always want she said people are interested in the packing process people are interested in how that looks like and what that process is. Um, not that I really just showed you that by showing you that pile of shit back here, but I just get, I don't know, you know? I'm just so judgmental of other people that I turn that onto myself. As, as hater, much hater aid as I drink, I'm just as, I'm, I'm more critical of myself. I mean, that's the honest truth. I'm very critical of other people and judgmental. I think that's a slightly um, good and bad feature of myself, but best believe I'm, I'm three times as much when I'm looking inward on how I act and what I do. So there's that. But so I packed all morning. It's 1241. Um, things were rolling in, man. So launch day, so far success. We launched pretty hard for about a week, you know, three, I mean, the process is months, but once we get the stuff here, the inventory of the pictures is about a week, then we launch, and then we got another week of marketing and pushing or so. Uh, and then I like to chill. Again, talking business or marketing, I don't like, Every time I ask or show or tell, even though these products I think are quality and worth the money, I think they're fairly priced, I think they're high quality, they are unique, they're cut and sew, which means that we made them. You know, they're not just, this isn't just a hoodie, a Hanes hoodie that I printed on. We made this hoodie designed top to bottom. Um, 
So I think it's well worth it and the efforts in it, the quality of the clothing's in there and I think the branding and the story is cool, obviously because it's my baby, but I guess where I'm getting at is every time I promote something, I feel I'm taking from you guys. So I promote a sponsorship, I promote even my YouTube, my Twitch, I feel like I'm taking for you guys. You know, if this there's energy in the middle, right? There's energy between you guys, my Instagram, um, you, my Twitch, the podcast, and I don't wanna take, I wanna give more than I take. And so I always feel bad. So that's another reason why our launch model uh, is only a week. So I'll kind of push for a week, make sure everybody sees it. YouTube being back helps because Instagram's weird and just doesn't show our followers our posts. So I can't even give you guys funny stuff or lifting stuff or let you know the clothing's live. Like less than 20% of my Instagram following even saw my posts. So uh, we're live, 3sb.co, check it out. I appreciate you um, and back to work. <laughs>